American Young Men Saving the World Again. They fought the rocky heights of Iwo Jima, they stormed the beaches of D-Day, and now they went and voted against the destruction of civilization. Yep, voting is not quite as brave as flying a B-17 over Berlin in 1944, but there are different ways you can lose or save your country. You can be invaded by a bunch of real Nazis, or you can collapse internally from a cancer of society. That is what seemed to happen to the Romans. You can make a good case it also happened to the French in 1940. When a great society such as the US or UK or even Australia starts to hate itself and all the magnificent things that have been achieved and the people in power go a bit crazy or even a lot crazy, it truly is damaging as, as uh, cancer. And remember what caused this cancer, whose generation? It was my generation and the generation either side of it that did this. But the young men in particular are rebelling. And it's been a seismic shift demonstrated by the American election. They are rejecting their brainwashing. And what the young people will do will influence the world for half a century, unlike old people like me. So let's have a look at st some statistics, mostly from America, and show how the men, the young men, have turned and how they will lead us out of this pandemic caused by the woke mind virus. So let's have a look at this graph, one of many surveys done uh, shortly after the election and before the election as well, showing how young men uh, in 2020 voted for Trump in a minority, but there's been a 15% swing towards uh, Trump. Even the young women actually went uh, towards Trump, though they're still in a minority. Or this second graph showing the number of young men uh, voting for the Democrats was very high in 2014-15, but has completely collapsed uh, by 2022-2023. But it's actually not just in the US, it's, it's all over the world and there's been a divergence in the views of, of men and women. So you can see in Korea, uh, the number of men who are of conservative nature has absolutely skyrocketed, or at least the number who are liberal has collapsed, unlike the women. But even in other countries, such as Germany, you're seeing this slow, steady decline in the number of young men who consider themselves as liberal. And the left wing are certainly beginning to panic. Dramatic shift from supporting Democrats in 2020 by a 15 percentage point margin to swinging back to the GOP by 13 points. A CNN exit poll also found men under 30 in Pennsylvania favored Trump by 21 points. In 2020, Biden won that same group by nine points. Or this other vi video from The Hill, where young men are swimming back towards Trump. Young men swung toward Trump by nearly 30 percent. And while deciphering why they voted the way that they did may seem tricky, it's really not. As journalist Lee Fong writes, quote, young men struggle with addiction, loneliness, and suicide at skyrocketing rates, only to be dehumanized as oppressors by the dominant liberal culture. And the left, well, they're definitely panicking, as you can see in this one from The Guardian, why young voters flocking towards the far right in parts of Europe. So this is Europe. Of course, it's not, they're not really far right. They're just going back to something that was completely normal just a decade ago. But the Guardian is panicking, or from the New Yorker, what's the matter with young male voters? Well, there's actually nothing wrong with them, but it's an interesting uh, viewpoint, isn't it? Rather than asking why they've, they're changing, it's there's something wrong with them. And a simple Google search will throw up dozens of articles looking at what's happening to young men, and especially the change between what the young men think and the young women. So there's no doubt about it. The left are panicking. They can see that all that brainwashing, the complete takeover of the school system, indoctrinating the children, it's not working. The men have decided they've had enough. Now, we all know why the young men have turned. They've been told since they are toddlers that because they're men, well, they have toxic masculinity. That every profession where men outnumber women, well, that's because of male sexism. But when it comes to rubbish truck drivers or bricklayers or sewage workers, which are overwhelmingly male, well, that's okay. And I could go on, 
if you're a white man, not only are you toxically masculine, but you probably own slaves, or your ancestors did, which nowadays seems to be the same thing. You cannot escape that guilt. Never mind if your great-great-grandfather was William Wilberforce, who started the revolution to end slavery in the world. You're still guilty. And this is where I'm going to get a bit big, big-headed and say, well, I kind of told you so. Because old fellas like me will often moan and grumble about the younger generation being a waste of space, that they've been indoctrinated by the education system that my generation are responsible for. And I did that up until about 2019, when I actually started to see that despite that indoctrination, the young, especially the young men, could see for themselves. I remember clear as a day, because I was in the long process of being fired from my university for saying the Great Barrier Reef was fine, a couple of my students came into my office and they said, told me, you've got to start watching Jordan Peterson and then launched into a diatribe that would make crusty old fellows like me feel proud. They could see that they'd been infected or had been infected by the woke mind virus and had pulled through and could see exactly what was happening. And they were not alone. In fact, a lot of the students that I dealt with were pretty sound, although they'd always say the right thing when the time mattered. This trend will have phenomenal implications. The woke left know what is happening. The brainwashed masses, young masses have rebelled. And it's not going to be long before people can say things which would once get, have got you fired at universities, like climate change is not a cataclysmic threat, or the Great Barrier Reef is fine, or acknowledgements to country are disgusting political statements which must stop. That a man cannot turn into a Sheila no matter what you call them. And don't write off the young women either. They have less motivation to come across, but they will come and they are coming across. The next generation of men will be even more sound as the rebellion, the insurrection continues. So I was not entirely tongue in cheek when I compared this generation of young American men with the greats from previous generations. They have stopped the cancer culture of our society. Things really have turned, and if we keep this military analogy, which I began with, the young men have stormed the beaches, and there's nothing that will stop them now. Common sense is going to return to the world. <laughs>